Well, February is American Heart Month, a time when all people can focus on their cardiovascular health. Yeah, cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Mm -hmm. Alan Stewart from HCA Florida Mercy Hospital joins us here live now. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure yeah. to see you. Um, hey, we, we've Good heard morning. from you before, and, and you've got great advice. So uh, this month is special. It's, it's mm -hmm. Women's Heart Health Month. Why are women affected, seemingly affected more by heart attacks and things like that than, than maybe men? Well, it's interesting that uh, women are protected up until they reach menopause because uh, their combination of, of estrogen uh, and progesterone will protect them from coronary disease. Women have about as many heart attacks as mm -hmm. men, but they have more fatal heart attacks. And the reason why is because they ignore their symptoms. Because uh, the we're moms and we're like, we think that that's what you do. we can do it all. Yeah, you're too busy. Right. Uh, <laughs> so you're, uh, you say, oh, well, that little pain I have, yeah. or I just don't feel right. Maybe I just mm -hmm. didn't get some sleep last night because my kids woke me up. Well, they, they don't pay attention because in the media for years, if you think back, it's only men having heart attacks on right. in the movies and on, right, on sitcoms. Right. So women don't think it's something that applies to them. So they tend to ignore it. And by the time they come to the hospital, they're in much worse condition. So that's why women die more frequently from heart attacks wow. than men. That's really scary. You never think about it like no, that. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're busy. So uh, heart conditions can either be genetic or due to life. So tell us about the differences and what can be done to improve our heart health. So we can't change who we are, where we came from. Right. Uh, so those people that have young uh, family members that just dropped dead uh, mm -hmm. in their 50s, well, they've got a genetic issue or a genetic predisposition to heart disease. That's one area. Then how you live your life is the other area. Now, uh, what we didn't do ourselves a service with in society is being locked down for a period of time. We mm -hmm. tended to smoke more, drink more, eat more, not exercise, not uh, socialize with folks. So we were mentally stressed out right. and we developed our comfort by eating a whole lot of processed sugar. Uh, you would never mix a drink sitting right here, but if you're home on a Zoom call and can do right. that off the side, people started drinking about 10, 11 in the morning. Right. Uh, you could never smoke two packs of cigarettes a day at work, but you can at home. Mm -hmm. right. uh, and so all those unhealthy habits and that gave And due to COVID us, also, a lot of people working from home. Yeah. Yeah. Right, absolutely. That's what, that, that was the point I said. You, mm -hmm. you can, if you're working from home, you don't have that external constraint. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't have that impetus to exercise because you're home wearing sweats all day long. So uh, you're not putting on your, your fitted outfits to, mm -hmm. to go to work. So people gained a lot of weight and, uh, and, and didn't have their activity. On top of that, they weren't going to the doctor. So right. they didn't get their, their meds that they needed. Uh, and along that, along that lines of meds, and you ask, well, what can you do? Uh, and as a doctor, I said, well, meds, but in a different way. Meditation, exercise, diet, and sleep. So the meditation is relaxing for mm -hmm. just 10 minutes, mm -hmm. taking some time away from stress. your kids, away from your spouse, mm -hmm. uh, away from that, that tough job that we all have, and, uh, and just disconnecting for a few minutes a day. That'll lower your stress hormones mm -hmm. and get rid of that belly fat. Mm -hmm. uh, exercise, uh, while you can't exercise, exercise away a bad diet um, mm -hmm. as much as we would try uh, three to four days a week of exercising at least 30 minutes a day and just pick what you find to be fun something you're going to do uh, the most important piece of any exercise equipment is the on off switch uh, so if mm -hmm. you're not going to turn it on you're not going to do right. it right yeah uh, so whether that's swimming or walking Real quickly, because uh, we're running low mm -hmm. on time, uh, we've partnered with, uh, uh, CBS Miami has partnered yeah. with HCA Florida. Very important today. We've got blood drives going on. Very, very important to heart health. Explain that. In our so blood drives, uh, it's it's a great way to anonymously mm -hmm. give to charity, right? Because you're not getting any credit for it. It's not right. like you've given a billion dollars to a school and, and have your name on the door. Uh, you can impact at least three lives uh, per pint of blood that's donated. and. It's critically important because we take that blood and break it down into the red blood cells, platelets, and plasma, and they all have indications. Now, for someone who's had a couple of surgeries, mm -hmm. uh, it, while they're minor enough that you wouldn't need blood, if you did, you're depending upon right. society to donate that. And uh, it's a wonderful feeling because you're giving of yourself to yeah. another human being. Right. And, uh, and and it's life-saving. And we can't do the complex heart surgeries that right. I do every day without the gift uh, of someone else donating. So by all means, uh, donate blood. Uh, there there yeah. is no downside. It is very, very safe. And there is a shortage. And there is a yeah. tremendous shortage. Yeah. Oh, doctor, and thank you so very, much for joining easy. us. Yeah. yeah.
Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks Pleasure. for joining us. So we've got a couple of blood drives going on. We're going to show that. Here we go. And as we mentioned, CBS Miami is teaming up with HCA Florida and One Blood to help save lives. This Heart Month will be at two blood drives today from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. We hope you will come out and meet us and do your part in helping <coughs> end the national blood shortage. Uh, Betty will be at HCA Florida Westside Hospital in Plantation reporting live for CBS News Miami at 9 a.m. and at noon. Next weather meteorologist Cindy Pressler will be there as well in the afternoon. The address is 8201 West Broward Boulevard. And then Lisa Gonzalez and Lauren Pastrana, they're going to be at HCA Florida Aventura Hospital. That's at 209th Street and Biscayne Boulevard. That's going to be, uh, Lisette's going to be there in the morning. She'll be there at 9 and noon. Lauren's mm -hmm. going to be there for CBS News Miami at 5 and 6.